<laughs> Yo, did you guys see that story? That family in California that had their 13 yeah. kids chained up? Yeah. Yep. Yikes. Please bring up a picture of that family because yeah. that dude's bangs <laughs> they look like the people are, under the stairs. Dude, the guy's bangs are hilarious. He looks like Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> oh, yeah? No, dude, I he looks like The Harry. guy who chained the kids up? Yeah, Harry, the dad. And they have all these like theme photos where you're like, wait, so you don't feed your kids, but you make them dress up for theme photos? You're sick. You're real sick. Hey, everyone, I'll take the chains off, but... We're doing a Partridge family thing. Guys, we're going to do the Brady Bunch shot from the top of the bottom of the stairs. One of you makes a break for the door, I will lay you down. I repeat, I will lay you down. I have 13 of you. Some of you are backups. <laughs> Rest in peace, David Cassidy, huh? Some of you want to be Joe Montana, but you were born to be Steve Young's. Oh, dude. that's the parents? Yeah, dude. How great is that picture? Are they pa the parents, actually? Yeah, dude, he looks like fucking Harry from... Those are biological parents. Yeah. He has hair like a... Uh... Like Lori Metcalf, Jackie from yeah. TV's Roseanne. Jackie? Yeah. Yeah. Jackie. He works at a loose meat restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, it looks hilarious. He looks like his name's Ron Petty. Tom Petty's a like, uh, forgotten brother. The Turpins. Oh, yeah. He definitely looks like the brother of somebody who made yeah. it for real. Yeah. He's like, I'm Roy Orbson's brother. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't have the same last name. I took my mom's. <laughs> I Emilio Estevez did. I Estevez did. Yeah, um, look at this family. At the bonfire, SXM she's will She's smiling in picture. her picture, by the way. Hell yeah, because she doesn't got to look after 13 she's kids like, oh anymore. Oh my God, freedom. Oh God, some time alone. These Someone little must take them. Uh, here's show this, the kids? Yeah, here, play the video. Play the uh, news story. Uh, 13, they show the actual kids. Thirteen, dude. There's like, there's one of them's like 29, and one of the neighbors said that they talked to him. The victims were taken from a home here on Muir Woods Road. Muir Woods. All right, Kimberly Chang. Yeah, from TV News Five. Hey, thanks, Kimberly Chang. Uh oh, what? Is it? You got to push the X. We're learning. Majority of them are adults who were so malnourished they look like children. I knew when I moved here. But that was the house that had the 12 because kids. It's my work, my lifelong job to create adult children. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, uh, the dad, the interviewing the dad, he goes, you know how you like puppies? But you get sad when they grow up? Yeah, well, I fix that. <laughs> I have perma puppies. My kids are always little. <laughs> Turns out if you don't feed them any proper nutrients, they just kind of stay small and feeble. It's kind of fun. Pick up. Pick yeah. up. He goes, I'm not that's Johnny. He's 32. And I'm not going to lie. He voted in the last three elections. We had fun. <laughs> we had fun. It was Carrie the first time, so it was innocent. <laughs> really, it was just like shooting a gun into the woods. It really was I, I, told him his, I told him his vote meant nothing. But I, I, we I, wanted I, to vote. I go, listen, they don't take a sitting president out at wartime. I had to pick, go for it. I had to pick him up so he could pull the leaves. <laughs> yeah. My number is at He goes, 35. 35 years old, this son of a bitch. Can you believe it? Doesn't look a day over eight. I guess this, guess what? Still right of the dark. <laughs> and it's crazy, because I keep him chained up there a majority of the time. Most of the time he's in there. And I agree. I thought he would get used to it and eventually get out of this, but yeah. he is still terrified. Uh, upside, everyone still believes in Santa. So, <laughs> Christmas spirit. Downside, is... sun hurts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sunlight they, hurts. Uh, their bones feel more banana-esque <laughs> than anything. <laughs> they, uh... Yeah, we haven't had a we haven't given him a fucking piece of green. And... <laughs> a strong wind will give him a purple bruise. <laughs> yeah, he goes. There are again positives and negatives uh, to all of this. The mom's just like he kept wanting to have kids. I kept letting him fuck me. He goes. I queef him out. He says we have plenty of room in the basement. So apparently, uh, if you can go up real quick, uh, January fourteenth, a seventeen-year-old juvenile escaped from her residence and um, Paris. Oh, managed to call 911 from a cellular device she found inside the house. The teenager claimed that her 12 brothers and sisters were being held <laughs> captive inside the residence by her parents and further claimed some of her siblings were bound with chains and padlocks. So only some of them were. No, yeah, but they would like let them out to take family photos. It was that's very bizarre. Saying. That's the that's the punishment. You know, they'll tell you the family photo is a lost thing in America. <laughs> got to bring it back. Hey, I got Sunday to, dinners and family photos. If I got to say something nice about turpins, <laughs> oh, good <laughs> they job. They believe in classic family unit. I mean, that is. <laughs> but they don't all. have faces. Oh, 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 oh. oh they're blurred. Because no, they're blurred. Legalities. <laughs> At the bonfire, SXM to see the blurred face kids. Well, yeah. So some of those are adults. That looks like a Banksy piece. Yeah, they they ranged. They were up to twenty nine years old, and the seventeen year old that actually escaped and alerted the authorities. They said she looked like a ten year old. She was so malnourished. That's yeah, hot. she got oh, that's hot gymnastics body. <laughs> maybe these maybe these parents are just gymnastic coaches. Keep them <laughs> tiny. 
Worked the balance beam. Did they say how they are? Did they test all of them on the unparalleled bars? <laughs> the uneven, the the uneven, uneven bars? bars? Yeah. They go, and here it is. And she's up. And oh, her knees oh. collapsed under the weight of her own tiny torso. Oh my God. When she flipped around, her arms came pure out of socket. Just like an old chicken bone. Just snapped right in half. <laughs> yeah, so these people are going away for a long time. But where do these kids go? I, they're going to end up in the system if they're underage unless the... Um the adults will take care of the kids. They're not taking care of them now. No. No, I mean the adult oh, kids, like the oh. twenty or however old. These they don't kids, know how to take care of themselves. They're all. I mean, these kids have got to be just insanely. They have to up. be good at one thing, though, right? <laughs> like there has to be one thing. If you're chained to a bed, well, they just come get... out of the gates, and they really are just like a family, like awesome, like bluegrass jam bands. Yeah, they go. Well, it was <laughs> <sad> <laughs> <when> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> the country bears band. They go. Can you guys do anything? She goes. Fill a couple glasses with some water. Get me a wand and yeah. uh, get me a banjo. I've watch. learned how to survive on pure glasses of tears. <laughs> yeah, I can cry and drink it. Yeah, the mom looks happy to be there. I mean, this has been going on. They have a 29 year old. That's so what I'm saying. How long this has been going Two on? Two to for. 29. You know exactly how long it's been going on for. 29, 29 well, years. I don't, know, I don't, I mean, it'd be interesting to find out like, <coughs> when that type of abuse and neglect started. If you don't drop like that on, you don't drop that on one of them in the middle of the thing. It's not 13. He goes, hey, listen, just so you know, things changed. Starting tomorrow, I think you guys are gonna start being chained in the basement forever. Oh God, I really liked it I'm when you guys were family pictures. You guys were a lot of fun when you were regular kids. Just there's a lot of you now, and <laughs> just to make sure everything is easy, I don't know if you guys got the memo. We're gonna start chaining you in the basement. You know, I don't know if we do the math out here, kids, but okay. we're rocking about a baker's dust worth of kids. I asked you guys to learn Thriller, and you didn't. So now I'm gonna have to actually put you in the, in the basement. It's funny that there's this family picture where the dad's wearing a tuxedo. Oh, that's the wedding. It can't. I mean, that can't be the wedding. <laughs> they just take like staged pictures of a wedding. Yeah, yeah, unless they did like a. They renewed their vows and all their neglect. Can we talk about how the powerful this dude's ball sack is? Thirteen. Yeah. I mean, dude, you might not like Nick Saban, but you respect that he has fucking six championships. What does he have? Six or seven? Yeah. He tied Bear Bryant. And you're saying this guy fucking making kids? You're pretty impressed with his uh, God, yes, I with am. With his free throws and his three percentage. Oh, dude, he's fucking, he's perfect. He's like, yeah, he's like a ninety-eight percent free throw shooter. You go, Before don't he... foul him, don't, fa <laughs> don't fuck him, don't let him come inside you. He will make you have a baby. When he comes, he goes, oh, oh, layup. He goes, oh, it's pretty, so pretty. <laughs> he leaves it up like Wesley Snipes and why they can't jump. Oh, <laughs> he leaves it. He, he leaves it. Oh, uh, he does the Barry Bonds banger. Look. He does the Barry Bonds look off where he goes, ah, <laughs> that's in there. Uh, that's it. He goes, yeah, you're pregnant. Oh, to the house. That's a pick six. Holy shit. He's the principal of a day school. Well, I believe what he did is opened a school in order to homeschool the kids and not get alerted by like the school attendance review board because it says the school which opened in March 2011 has a total of six students, one in each fifth, sixth, eighth, ninth, tenth, and twelfth grades. And it's on the hundred block of where he lives. So I believe- So he's re he's listed as a school, he's but, he's, a school. but it's his house. Yes. Oh, well, I mean, if it's a boarding school, technically, he's Nailed not doing it. anything wrong. Yeah. How good's their hockey team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet it's great. Oh, man. I bet that's a fuck. I bet whatever sport these kids play, I bet they just have, I mean, they are lined up. Could they you? know where the other one's going to be. I, say, I don't know. I just, I know where he's going to be at all times. I should read them. If they have any sort of- No look. <laughs> this is, as an only child thinking about 13 kids, immediately I think about how good at video games you have to be to get on the system and hold your place. Oh, man. Man, yeah, if I got next. Oh, I got, I got next, next too. But, but he goes, yeah, next is going to be tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have to get shut off if they chain us to our beds. <laughs> this is going to end after two games. You better have a fucking solid Madden plan if you sit down at the <laughs> fucking house. All right, guys, time for your nightly beatings. Dad, just let us finish this one more game. I'm the Cardinals. He's the Titans. And we're in the fourth <laughs> quarter. Dad, before you padlock us to our fucking mattress on the floor. Hey, uh, hey! Before, <laughs> before you shackle us all to each other and then a brick wall. I wonder if they can we just get this one game in. I know we don't ask for a lot. We don't ask for a lot. I know the other day I asked for a slice of bread. Well, this is a highly respectable family. Who yeah, said that? they were like, I. It's from a neighbor, I believe, Betty. Apparently, well, like you should have worded that highly respected. This yes. family, yeah. And he, um, he was an engineer <laughs> for. He's a defense contractor. That's really, of course. It really is a funny thing to say about now. He goes, he goes. He chained up his thirteen kids, all thirteen. He goes, 
It's respectable. <laughs> it's a pretty respectable number. I mean, thirteen can control thirteen. I'll tell you what, I would say thirteen kids could have probably jumped the dad at some point. I mean, the guy's looking like a fighter. If this guy he goes like this, those are huskies, he's got a hell of a sled. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, what? He goes, I'm just saying. I'm just, there's, I'm there's just saying. Look, there's ways to look at this. It's, there's, there's ways, different to, see ways that, to look at this. There's ways to see this where it can be almost respectable. <laughs> <laughs> Respectable. They go, hey, you know, the Model T wasn't built without fucking making people some work hard. You go, wait, are you comparing him to the creator of Ford? You're like, <laughs> if, just saying. If everyone around them is blown away by this and the way that mugshot picture looks of the mom, they're pure evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they're evil. They, yeah. This isn't even like they're a little like off. No, they're pieces of shit. Like mentally off where you're like, I don't, is this what you're supposed like, There's some people that'll come out and be like, I keep them safe. Like, I'm crazy. For some reason. Like, how- if she's smiling in the thing, she it's, it's, that's really just like, you know, that's the, uh, what was the Edward Norton movie? Richard Gere? Primal oh, Fear? Primal Fear, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the Primal Fear uh, thing at the end where you just go, all right, I wanted to kill these kids the entire time. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, Dead Man Walking. Yeah. When they're like, what happened? At- well, but he's not enjoying it at the end. But No, but I'm saying, like, I mean, that she's definitely smiling in that picture. One thousand percent. She's got a smile on. Uh, Harry from. She's Dumb like, Dumber. I don't have a good stationary face. She, I don't have a good resting face. She goes, oh, you know what? This is going to be really ill time. <laughs> yeah. But whenever you tell me to smile, I actually do smile. Because this is going <laughs> to seem. This, this is going to seem inappropriate, but I don't like my resting face. So if, if you don't mind for the picture, I'm going to uh, cheese. <laughs> she goes, can I use this as an ID in my jail? <laughs> <laughs> but before they take the picture, she goes, wait, wait, wait a second. She like rustles her hair up, like now. Dude, his tiny Tim hair. I mean, he's ridiculous looking. He looks ridiculous. Yeah, it looks like he plays a ukulele for children he then molests. Yeah, he all, he looks like a... Uh, but man, that I have it wrong. But he looks like 500, <laughs> like 500 years ago, he would have walked in the room going, And now here's a story <laughs> of the king. Yeah. Oh, his conquest. <laughs> it looks like he should have a long, straight <laughs> horn. Yeah. It's got a flag hanging off the horn. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you regal tales? Robin of Loxley. A family chain. In their basement, and the father who looked like a monarchy is You can catch that in further tales of poultry. Oh, yes. At the top in. What if I told you all the finest children were chained in a basement? Thirteen fucking kids, man. Yeah, and it says, uh, I love it, it, says the parents could not provide a logical explanation for why the kids were restrained. <laughs> they went like this, the cop goes, why'd you have them restrained? And one of the cops goes, kids. <laughs> what? Um, did right. you see this? Keegan in New York says there's video of their wedding renewal and it was done in Vegas by Elvis. Shut like up. Like they're fun loving other times. Sign that. Yeah. He goes, Do y'all take each other to to lock and padlock, key and lock? And they, they write the oh. vows. So oh, oh, that's the way to take care of some little kin, all right? A rang a doo, a rang a doo, dang doo, a rang a doo. Oh, that's my favorite part of the pedophile album. A rang a doo, a rang a doo, rang a doo. You got some good looking kids right there. How much for him? I'm just kidding. Oh. Unless you're not kidding. A rang a doo, dang doo, a rang a doo. If I give you a pink Cadillac, can I go into that basement and have a, <laughs> a, a little kid dog pile? Just give me 20 minutes in that basement. Wow, Don't ask any here it is. Forever. Forever. Ah, Louise. Ah, Louise. I take you, David. Oh, you, David. Holy to be my shit. Husband. To be my husband. Once again. Once again. My best friend. My best friend. My soulmate. My soulmate. To have to hold. Have Pause it for a second. I'll tell you what. The warden to my kid jail. <laughs> By the way, never have I, never has that term ever, I think the term soulmate's stupid. Yeah. It sucks. It's impossible. It is dumb. You can't always find your soulmate in the same town you live in. Yeah. Where you go, oh, you were born in the same shit all I was born in? <laughs> yeah. Soulmates. Just two people who figured out they can get actually, through some things together. Actually, I kind of disagree with you because you can find your soulmate if you're like, I've always wanted to have a lot of kids and chain them up downstairs and she goes oh, I've always wanted that you, you go you, you took the words soulmate. out of my mouth I said never has that word resonated with me ever oh, anything. Until, until when he said soulmate right there it hit me I'm like yeah for sure <laughs> this woman <laughs> yeah. smiling yeah. smiling now listen yeah. his haircut tells me he was definitely into this oh. he was into doing this thing and then you're like, but the wife's got to be some sort of like brainwashed like mm-hmm. you know sad sack whatever that's circling that picture that dude found his soulmate just the way that Gerald Foos Fucking Found Yertle the Turtle Head over there. <laughs> Yertle the Turtle Head. Oh, the kids are all, all chained in the basement. Hey, Peter Tork. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, this is great. Um, uh, I wonder if our, if our audience, if anyone knows what I mean when I say Peter Tork. I don't. 
It's the monkeys. All right, dude. Well, I wasn't born in 1955. Oh, man. I love a good mean thing. Uh, Garrett says the woman had a baby at 49, so she needs credit, too. That is, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm surprised at how well she's held up after 13 kids. I mean, pretty good. And he is right. She got one in right before the buzzer. Yeah. That's okay. a buzzer beater. A kid at 49. And they're wearing Wait, glasses. Why wearing, oh, they're all wearing sunglasses. Oh, they are just socially retarded. Well, I'll tell you what they don't have. Rhythm. Oh. Oh, my God. The dad is exactly the blocky oh. idiot you thought he was. Oh, man. His haircut is exactly... When they say don't re judge a book by its cover... They're they simply like, doing the kick, one kick, second leg kick. He well, doesn't get it. He can't catch the rhythm of it. Well, you know when he finds the rhythm? In the sack. Because he's fucking 13 kids, dude. That guy's draining him. So I don't know what rhythm you want. That guy's fucking all dick to cervix. I'll bet the dude's got. <laughs> that guy's I'll bet the dude's got a hammer and a half. Oh hell yeah, he's got dumb person dick. Yeah, he's got big. That means he's thick, oh, heavy hang dick. Like a roll of uncooked, <laughs> like cookie dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cookie <laughs> dough. He just get, he just puts that uncooked cookie dough in her and just shoots a fucking fires load. off. Pow! And he goes like this. It's done. He's like, baby, you know I get lightheaded if I stay hard too long. So <laughs> she goes, she goes, okay, but I need a baby. He goes, I know what you want. That's what I do. How do you celebrate your love for each other that much, but you have to chain thirteen kids? Have That's you ever tried crazy. to stay in love with having that many children? Yeah, it's you impossible. need some me time. You gotta lock them in the basement, man. If you want to, like I'll tell you what. If you were, that, that, they are not good parents. <laughs> that marriage is strong. Yeah. <laughs> He goes, he goes, I love her since, uh, I love her just as much as I did the first day. You go, um, well, what helped your marriage? Master lock? What? <laughs> Nothing. Master lock. Heavy chains? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, uh, soundproof basement? Yeah. He goes, I don't know. Learned a little bit about sand engineering. Learned how to tie some knots. And I love my baby girl. That's, so that's the answer to the question is what happened was when the first kid <laughs> was like starting, there was getting a riff. They were arguing a little bit more. He goes, just, oh, all right. All right, Diane. I just I kind of need some time for myself. It's like, what happened? Where are we? Where are, what what happened? Get, what happened to us? And it's like I'll tell you. Ever since that beautiful now, little four year old girl down there came into our lives, goes, we've just been so stressed and running crazy and nuts. Like, I, I'd hate to say it, but I feel like the problem is it's the responsibility of the kids. Just it's wearing on our relationship. But I want to be with you. No, the, I want to be with you too. They did the thing where they can just, we start locking these fuckers in the basement? Or they, they got there way more angry. He goes, I just fucking miss you. I miss just being us. I miss just being <laughs> alone. Sometimes I just want to fucking lock that kid in the basement. And I'm serious. I just want to lock him in the basement. And she goes, I do too. He goes, I have the same thoughts. And he goes, I mean, we could try. It's crazy though, right? Uh, we couldn't do that. She goes, like, it's totally crazy. She she goes, crazy. Like, Maybe, we get in trouble. He goes, well, I mean, I don't. I don't know how much trouble we get in. I mean, like, you know, it's like we have a pretty good relationship with the cops. They don't ask a lot of questions. Yes. You know what I mean? We yes. homes, he goes, I guess we could homeschool. Because I'm talking crazy. This stop. is nuts. She goes, this no, is ridiculous. Stop, stop. Everything you're saying is making sense. Now, look, I get like logistically it makes sense, but I mean, like, oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, these are our babies. What like, kind of parents you, would we yeah, be? You don't, I mean, like, you know, I love them. I, I, mean, I love her. I'm just saying I'd like her to be chained down in the basement. She like, was, I, maybe I would like to watch one episode of Friends without <laughs> having her cry. See, I'm a person who thinks like you, you could lock a kid in the basement and still love him completely. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean we don't love him. I, he goes, I just, what if we tried it? Just one night. Just <laughs> one night. We're going to do one night. One night. She goes, David, I mean this. One night. He goes, Louise, <laughs> one night. And then the, the next morning they're having breakfast and he goes, oh, she's still in the basement. <laughs> and he goes, I totally forgot because last night you were a tiger in the sand. <laughs> and he goes, I felt it. I felt like I was prowling. He goes, oh my God, the kids, I gotta go check on them. And then he comes up and she goes, how are they? He goes, they're alive still. He goes, sleep. you could just keep them down he there. Goes, I haven't seen them sleep like that. <laughs> he goes, maybe it's good for them. He goes, you know, I think they like being chained. He goes, do you think the black mold's helping? She goes, saving money on food. <laughs> I'll tell you this, they stopped eating lunch. That's good. <laughs> I put a sandwich down there on a plate. They sent it right back up. The six-year-old's growing mushrooms. I think, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> he goes, do you think we should stop at 10 kids? Three more. <laughs> you get, yeah, these people are going to fucking he goes, rot. Should a baby have bed sores? It's like, you know what? Let's have another one. Put it down there. Control experiment. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, we need a, yeah, this is, um, they're going away for a long time. I mean. Ever probably, yeah. I mean, they should. They, those kids should go. Those kids go where? The system, dude. You think? 
29 year old ain't fucking taking care they're of them. They're so white. I don't know if they um, would release. <laughs> he goes, wait, the system, but they're, they're so right. white. Yeah. Sorry, pinks, we got to release you back into the wild. <laughs> feral, they go feral. Yeah. I, I mean, like, would you trust? I mean, who in the family do you trust? Wait, who is this? Well, this is this is that's the, the couple that pays to watch the ball sex. <laughs> this is the mom's <laughs> sister, who I believe is a Christian motivational speaker, and she said that she hasn't seen them in 19 years. Her parents tried to go down there, and they wouldn't tell them where they were living. And they like kind of thought something was up, but didn't know it was this. <laughs> Do you hope they had so much where she's like, uh, if she was awesome, when they go, you're willing to take all of those children. And she goes, yeah, we got a huge basement. I'm just <laughs> fucking around. I'll take the sun, bitches. And she goes, oh, I'll take them. Damn. I mean. Yeah, it says they frequent, they loved Disneyland. They'd go to Disneyland a bunch. Whoa. I bet. Oh. Man, if Disneyland and basement are your only things, Disneyland's Dude. even better. What a what, what a first to sixth gear that is. I mean, where this... you're just like in a basement and then you're like, happiest place on earth, back to your basement. Uh-huh. You know how bummed to be at the last night of Disneyland? I, I mean, just like it, it shows you like how they just get used to the the world they're in I mean, the so dad... It's like that movie Room because I said like when they're buying them... They're all, we're looking at a picture now, they're in Disney World, they're all wearing the <laughs> Who from Whovilles, right? Like the Thing 1, 2. Thing 1, and 2. And they're all wearing the Thing 1 through 12, or 13, or whatever it is. And, I mean, when they're like, hey kids, you want to get these shirts? They were all probably like, yeah! I'm Thing uh, 7! What do you think? Just like, hey kids, you want to get these shirts? And they're like, I just need water, yeah. please. Mister? I need water. Mister? No, I'm your dad. <laughs> Uh, Warden? <laughs> That's Warden? where I wonder if we're going to find out that there was sexual abuse going on. Uh, in the fi- no, I mean, there wasn't. Of course there was. There you was, think? Dude, they had 13 kids chained in the basement. Why do you do that? Storytelling reasons? You think they were just letting people like pay to wail on them? Uh, no, no, oh, no. I, I thought I, maybe them. No, them. That dude's haircut tells me I fuck my own kids. That's the uh, that, then, those are those I fuck my own kids bangs. That is that is the hair you see between the legs of a ten year old. I you know what? As I was coming out, I was like, this is gonna, someone's gonna turn the radio off for that one because that's a real visual. When you see this guy's mo haircut, oh god! I mean, that's the hair that rests above the eyes that looks over the pelvis of a ten year old. Oh, God. Uh, at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, we will uh, post this. We're going to take our first break. Could you imagine having these kids in the basement and doing anything else in the world? Just having the go, it's like, Christ, hon, I got to order new nose hair trimmers. These just went on me. Dude. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and somewhere in your mind is also like, I'm going to figure something out with these 13 kids at some point. What about is something as simple as leaving your keys in the house? So you leave, and all the kids are like, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, I forgot my keys. And they're like, <laughs> he's back. Oh, God. It's just something simple. Like, I just, I forgot my keys. Put on your Thing 11 shirt and smile. Yeah. <gasps> thing 8. Where's Thing 8? They don't even know each other's names. Thing 8. By the way, the sister that's going to take the kids, is that what she's going to do? She's going to take them? I, I don't know if she's going to take them. I hope not, because she looks like the lady. Remember the girl who got in the fight at the restaurant that we used yes. to watch? And then she did, it turned out she did like a chubby big tit webcam. Yeah, the, <laughs> porn, the one who yelled at the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the uh, poke. Yes. Yeah, the poke freak out. She, doesn't look like, she, she looks, looks like exactly poke like that. Poke lady. It also looks like she's going at, uh, like she's traveling at the speed of sound with the window down. <laughs> I don't know. Her smile goes through her ears. She looks, you know what? Don't give the kids to her. We've been, wait, here's a quote from her. She says, we've been so worried about them because it's been so strange, but there's nothing we could do. They wouldn't let anyone visit. And we of didn't course know there's things you could do. I haven't seen her in 19 years. We would talk on the phone from time to time, but every time I'd ask to talk to her kids, she wouldn't let me. Flora, as a mother of seven, I mean, this whole family talks. <laughs> can I talk to the kids, please? Phone cord, don't reach the basement. She goes, yell it out. I'll put it next to the vent. <laughs> she goes, you're on speakerphone. Are you kids okay? Okay, okay? We can't hear you, Aunt Donna. Please get help, Donna. Donna. Please, Aunt Donna. I've lost three times at Madden. I can't, I can't really hear you, kids. Can you, can you say it again? We need water. <laughs> you see your fucking turpin come in? Yeah, yeah. He's spurring them. <laughs> yeah. He's got cattle prods. <laughs> Who wants to talk next? It's one of your birthdays. <laughs> and 
guess which one. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get your birthday zaps? <laughs> How old are you? He goes, I'm one. I'm one. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you're going to no. stay that tiny, too. Rack. <laughs> 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 Dude, he's just said uh he's at he's at great clips and they go, Okay, so what do you want us to do? He goes, mm, can you make it look like I have my kids in the basement and I fuck them occasionally? Go, <laughs> Got you. Snip, 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 and we'll see you later. See ya. Jacob, could we just he's go got, and take got... our before seven break? Double up now? Yeah, sure. No, not now. Do you want to Oh, wanna... you want to go late? Yeah. Keep going, yeah. Sure. Yeah. There's Jacob. so much more here. Jacob, you're like a fun you're like I a mean, fun parent that wouldn't keep us trapped in the basement. Are there any more videos? I'm amazed by their love. I mean, people search their whole lives to f- try and find a love like these two have. It's so true. <laughs> I mean, it really is weird that you would find, I mean, you know, there's all these songs about having a woman that's down for your cause in this psycho. But it's anything, if you're into like some fucking book. Kids. It, if you're just into some weird shit it's and hard. you can find somebody that's like, I'm way into that too. Yeah. Like, you may have found... <laughs> A soulmate. If you're into psychotic, crazy shit, psychotic shit, yeah. Here's a question. When they go to Vegas to renew their vows, their love for each other, oh, who's watching the kids? The kids are all with them. They were all there. That's what those pictures are from. So wait, you go from, you go you from t- being, from having zero, like, worry about kids because they're all chained in the basement, which any parent, and I know this is sick, but Jay, you'll admit this, you're a parent. Having a kid chain in the basement, you you are relieved a little bit as a parent. Completely. <laughs> oh, my God. If Isabella was just chained in a basement somewhere, I mean, and I knew where she was. She's yeah. safe. If oh, my Carla, God. She's if so Carla hard. had a good padlock and chain in her house in Long Island, and Absolutely. you knew your daughter was chained in the basement. Fucking black snake moan, my kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, but you would sleep. He goes, Jay. Day. I know you call it black snake moaning your kid, but why are you making her wear panties and a half top? I'm like, oh, I thought no. that's part of the whole the uh, black snake moan thing. He goes, know. yeah, no, I just meant like, I meant like the act of chaining someone to a furnace. That you went, oh, I should go get those thing one through thing ten shirts. <laughs> Do they have an interview? Go back up to the news story. Is there an interview with? It's just neighbors right now. Yeah, they're not interviewing the parents yet. There was some, there was a quote I saw where the Elvis that married them said they seemed like a nice family. He goes, well, let me tell you something. Kids were in line. He goes, <laughs> didn't hear one peep out of them. They stayed in the back pew, and I think they just tried to eat it. Oh, thank God there's 14, because I got two for one deal. Oh, I hang a do, I hang a do, hang do, I hang a do. I could do seven weddings if y'all want to marry your kids to each other. <laughs> I was taking home one of the daughters. Then I found out she was 29. Yeah. Uh, I said, oh, gross. Legally, this is great, but sexually, it bugs me. I wouldn't mind if you were a little bit younger and a little bit tinier. Can you keep saying I'm 13? How about if I promise to stop fish hooking you if you do it? Harangadoo. <laughs> Harangadoo. How'd I give you a nice Aziz Ansari claw? Yeah. 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 Karate claw. I know we're not going to get this story, really, because it's, it's probably at nausea. It's at nausea. But, the, but just I will say about the Aziz Ansari, the funniest thing was when I heard that. The claw? We're not type friends of any type. Yeah. No, just this whole story of what's going on. The whole, I, I'm not friends with his at all, and of course he's somebody who I watched be like, "Hey, there's this hilarious open mic kid, uh, Aziz Ansari," to being like internationally famous and wealthy. Yeah. They were like, "I go up, oh, chink in the armor. He must be a piece of shit." Mm-hmm. And then I read, and all I'm furious, I'm furious at this woman for one thing and one thing only. What you're making me have to publicly defend disease and sorry yeah. <laughs> completely and in to- and totally in saying that's so fucking ridiculous man well i mean that lady is so horrible for women there's a lot of a lot of backlash happening over that article that chick's New bad York for wi- for wi- what yeah. women have to go through and are trying to do here uh, that's another example of someone where you're like oh man like you're fucking up yep. people need help for yep. real, by making us, yep. us think yep. about that. It's almost good, though, that it came out because it's the first thing that's come out that there has been backlash for, and I think women are really, like, jumping <laughs> women, on this. Women, women. Yeah. Women, women. 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 Although, if you're asking a girl if she's enjoying herself while she's sucking your dick, it's, I think it's hard to say, uh, uh-uh, yeah. with a dick in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I there could be go. like, uh-huh. 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 Are you good? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like when the dentist asks. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you doing okay? Go, uh-huh. 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 He goes, you feel that at all? Uh-huh. 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 So are you cool? Uh-huh. 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 What do you think about 
keeping 13 kids in your basement. Love it. Oh, 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 yeah. He goes, that's what he is. He asks his wife every question with dick in her mouth. Yeah, he, goes, he goes, should we keep all these fuckers just chained in the basement all yeah. the time now? Oh, It's like when she takes out a mouthpiece. <laughs> I was saying maybe not the youngest we could keep upstairs, but definitely the thirteen to twenty nine year old. Twenty nine year olds kind of pissing me He's off like, anyway. Babe, the the youngest is the most annoying. She's like, you're right. Oh, gloved it. <laughs> she was, almost touched the ground. She had spit almost touched her eye. Ooh, like spaghetti. <laughs> What is this? Scatty slurp. Oh no, 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 no yeah, no. I don't, I don't want to. This is a rabbit hole we can go down, and we have a much yeah, better yeah. story. These thirteen kids getting changed. No, absolutely. I'm just saying for the record, it's like that's just it's such a bummer when you see that shit, man. Uh, yeah. Well, let's focus our energy on this fucking loser. Yeah, it's really here. It's- to have those two things come up together and it's like this girl says that was the worst day of my life I'm like you've led a really great life man there's kids being chained yeah. in basements by their why, parents why don't you talk to the 29 year old that's built like a 14 year old I'm like every one night stand was the worst night of my life move yeah. on yeah. I've had a toothy beach I get it <laughs> yeah you didn't say nothing either I cried in the ride home though you gutted it out I got nicked <laughs> <laughs> I took a flesh wound like Antonio Banderas she was, in Desperado she, was, she had one sharp molar man really took it yeah and she goes, Kah! I go, ah, Nick! Puncture. Ah, he nicked me. That- oh, God. You know what? Don't worry. You just blade me like Dusty Rhodes at Starcade. <laughs> I'm just leaking out the top of my forehead. You I'm put, a, you put a, a little piece of toilet yeah. paper on it, dab I, it. I blade my dick like it's an old 80s wrestler. <laughs> oh, oh, that son of a bitch is busted wide open. Um... I mean, they, I mean, like, they can't be facing anything other than life Kidnapping. In jail. I mean, think of all the charges they're going to get. I mean, dude, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I love the internet. At the bonfire. <laughs> dude, that is my favorite thing. That is my favorite thing I've seen. Who made that? Marcus Silva. God damn it, Marcus Silva. You fucking genius. What a home run. That's so Jane great. Christine is the parents. Christine, I do not like how easily that photoshopped it. That's why I'm not having kids, man. Yeah. I just can't trust myself. <laughs> yeah, I love, please give that in. I can't trust I won't chain my offspring in a basement. Oh, There's an excellent chance I can convince Christine to chain kids One in a basement. One thousand percent. I know how your guys' relationship works and let me tell you if you had more than four kids i would immediately check your basement first if i came over if i was like where are the kids i'm like hey friends houses i go <laughs> i go hey guy uh you mind if i go downstairs real quick no nah, 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 dude honestly the, the guy like the, the heat's up here and if you open the door just you know it's a vacuum nah, so Jay, I, just, I just kind of don't know where the kids are so i just want to say hi to them real quick so they're in a friend's go, house they're just a friend's house right now okay because i swear i just heard a lot of moaning from the basement oh yeah it's an old boiler <laughs> and then you just keep trying it's to an move. old boiler. Help! Help! Goes, yeah, I mean it's old, man. It need, we need a new no, one. Here it sounds like a whistling. <laughs> it's desperate. This, uh, Falcone's defending Disney because she found out that her was. Listen, Disney is an expensive vacation for two people. I can't imagine how it costs for a family of fifteen. They had to cut costs somewhere. This is Disney over feeding their kids. I kind of get it. Falcone's that big of a Disney fan. Well, I have to jump in here. They are Southern Californians. They're talking about just going to Disneyland, not doing like a Disney World vacation, and it's down the street from their house. So I wonder how they can imagine walking through the airport and they're all like let their ankles are all shackled together, <laughs> oh, like a chain gang. Yeah, they're just yeah. picking up garbage with little staffs on the way. You know how angry I'd be if are I got are you guys? On, are you guys? Are you guys? A, chain gang i'd be doing that frustrated white traveler thing where i'd be behind the whole gang and it, the whole family i go um i'm sorry is this sky priority line it's just there's just 13 kids chained to, uh, no i'll wait no it's oh god he's gotta get on my flight, get on my flight. <laughs> oh god i'm gonna get on my flight sorry we have 13 kids do so we have They're to very cha- pale so we have to take off all of the chains everyone <laughs> Can we just get them all aisles? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, a flight with that family? Oh, my God. Yeah, I bet those kids are crazy well-behaved, though. Dude, I bet they are so in line. I would love to see a movie with that family. He goes, is that baby going to cry? He goes, that baby hasn't cried the entire eight-hour flight. I'm going to go to the bathroom and come back and look at it. The baby's just like wide-eyed. Like, yeah. Was, she goes, I think that baby might be petrified to death. <laughs> Mrs. That might be a stuffed baby. Miss, is your baby taxidermied? <laughs> she goes, you want to know the secret? It's actually 11. <laughs> yeah, here's the yeah. 
he could totally be reasoned with. I know he's only one foot tall. He goes, but I ha- I have deep conversations about <laughs> stuff from exist. I mean, that is the grossest. Please tweet that out. That's the grossest <laughs> shit in the world. But that is definitely a couple that still fucks after 13 kids. Oh, yeah, man. They're in love. And that's are why they, you know they... this guy's got a mule on him. Oh, man. She's like, give me more baby juice. This guy's got a mule kick in the yeah. snatch. <laughs> 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 Makes that thud noise. <laughs> Yeah, it just sounds it's like, like a dry hit. It's like when you it's like when you hear a real fight. We're like, ow, <laughs> uh, God Christ! You want to take our double break right now? Should we do it now, Jacob? Okay, I guess we'll do that then. All right, we got a good guest coming in today. Great guest coming in today, everyone. It's Modfire. Yeah, we were talking about uh, Mo from the Three Stooges. And his ugly, and Larry Fine, his wife. Yeah. Like, uh, they kept 13 kids locked in a basement. He looks like Harry Dunn. That's exactly oh, what she. I said. Yeah. No, I know what you're thinking. That's a Tuesday in Boston. Your kids locked up in a basement? <laughs> yeah. They go, They're what? Catholic. That's a fucking Southie babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking go to the game. Leave the kids <laughs> fucking chained up. They call it the Dorchester nanny. Yeah, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> These kids are fine. <laughs> Throw a loaf of bread downstairs. Yeah, David Allen Turpin and his wife, Louisa Anna. I mean, Jay had a good point. They are soulmates. Her name is Louisiana? Yeah. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Louisiana. Louisa, yeah. That's fucking great. Louisa. David Allen Greer Turpin. Uh, her sister, Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> Do you call him Dat for short, like Dad. Dag? Dat. Oh, Dat and Louisiana? Oh, Dat and Louisiana are fucking fun. Look oh, at them. Oh, there they, Wow. So if you lived next to them and became Facebook friends with them. So why are they blotting out their faces and everything except this? Well, oh. this is their personal Facebook that hasn't been deactivated yet. So the yeah, press you know, is they've not been locked it up. out. Also, those kids don't know how to work a Facebook. Well, don't put out any pictures of the kids. I, I'm not, but it's really ridiculous. First of all, they have a joint them. Facebook account, so it's David and Louise Turpin. Oh, look, his name is David and Louise. I mean, publicly, they just have all the kids on display like they're a big happy family. They're so like that's the what Duggars. I'm saying. So all the, all the neighbors that are like, I can't believe this. If you were a neighbor of theirs and became Facebook friends with you. You'd be like, where the fuck are all your kids at? The details of this are going to be so gross. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be because here's the thing: so the darling. fact that I see them smiling in this picture, they're so fucked in the head. Yeah, like they are probably being explained to still that what's been happening to them is wrong. Like wow. this like one the, has like a the little ones, the little ones. Oh, that was yeah. That's why that one looks like it's the most why confident does it look too. Like baby, the boss baby, yeah, boss baby. <laughs> <laughs> the baby in the front just he's looking at you. He's almost like a wink. He's like, he's like, I'll be fine. It looks like it, it really. Goes, looks, I'll shake all this off. I don't remember tomorrow. It looks like it really is. I like won't a, remember this tomorrow. Like that baby has a look who's talking Bruce Willis voice. Where <laughs> yeah, goes, too much. These fruit. kids were fucked. I'm fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeez. Yeah. Twenty nine oh, year old's gonna have a pretty hefty therapist bill. Which one's a twenty nine year old? They all have the same hair. Look at the guys. Oh, oh man. He yeah. made the kids get dad turpin cut. hair? Yeah. Oh, uh, they got the turpins. All the boys have turpins. What? So wait, what happened? They had them locked in the basement? Yeah. They had them locked in the basement, but this is them renewing their vows in Las Vegas with uh, an Elvis impersonator, and the they one, brought all the kids to do this. I think oh. the one to the right of Elvis is the most grisly, ghastly one. Like, we won't we won't tweet it out because it shows their actual face and their kids, but no, the one to the left. That one is- you make the picture r- bigger? Uh, right there. Yikes! Can you make it bigger, even? Oh yeah, he's oh god. Well, now oh, I'm starting. Now I'm starting in. to oh, be yeah. concerned with inbreeding here because some of them are fucking actually look yeah. all whacked out. Two... I like I like the zany one though on the right. Yeah, he's fun. <laughs> he, goes, <laughs> he really entertains everybody in the basement. He goes, he goes I have to have a new thirty every time we're chained up. He goes, I know a little up close magic and some goes, crazy. Watch up, oh, my dicky. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> I goes. I do a pretty good impression of dad fucking mom upstairs. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> right guys right <laughs> all right for my next one it's gonna be cynthia when she's thirsty help <laughs> help <laughs> help what's this start scratching concrete like that's us trying to escape we're never gonna get out of here this is a hole. <laughs> anyways it's good to this see is our all. coffin this anyways, is one big coffin it's gonna be your brother uh anyways it's nice a- that the dad leaves every uh spring to deliver the stanley cup though <laughs> 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 he looks exactly like that guy <laughs> whose name i forget i mean this is there's a 29 year old in that group that's the scary part one of those kids is 29 well look for the fuckable one. <laughs> oh man one oh, guy's gonna good. go on a first date and be like so uh what's up with your family she goes well uh i was chained in the basement 
What is the reason for the basement chain? How would you say? Apparently, they couldn't come up with a logical explanation. For how it. would you say, Dan? How about if you found out thirteen kids keep them chained in a basement, mm -hmm. but every day one of them just lives as like they only have one kid. Oh, so they tag out? Yeah. They're, so uh, every thir uh, every thirteenth day is uh, your day. You have a pretty fucking great day. And by the way, they'll let you sleep with the TV on. There's no lights out at that house. <laughs> no curfew? No curfew. One every 13 days, you're a regular kid. Every, one out of 13 days. Do you hate them as much? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, the answer is yes, Dan. They're horrible people still. I mean, but it is once every 13. He goes, but I mean, can I eat whatever I want on that one day? <laughs> is that a cheat day? It's a cheat day. Disney radio? I mean, yeah. You just love Disney. <laughs> I Can mean, you pull up the Stanley Cup presenter? I mean, I think it might be him. <laughs> like it's pretty dead on. Wouldn't it be great if uh, if one of the kids just what I mean, like was just like mega hot or something? Uh, like, to like, smoke it, just like smoke it, or super fat, like Sierra, just one super fat. Like what happened? Goes well. We had fifteen kids. Yeah, and then one got eight. Tommy uh, ate Nathan. But dude, if one of them was Sierra Sky, oh. if you found out, they're like, <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, that's her. That's her brother and sisters. You'd be like. I mean, that is hilarious, Joe. That's fucking that hilarious. fucking hilarious. But by the way, this guy probably has kids in his basement. Yeah. Can Phil go, Pritchard? Can we go check Phil Pritchard's basement? <laughs> All I'm saying is if you have the ability, check Phil Pritchard's basement. <laughs> I'm just saying if you don't say something, you're part of the problem. Yeah. Uh, just for the sake of Pritchard's children, <laughs> Phil Pritchard's kid. Holy shit, man. I keep it the show on those. That baby is looks hilarious. I mean, I wish you could I wish it they out. would change the picture. <laughs> Someone deactivate this Facebook, please. <laughs> because this baby picture is actually like the baby's expression is funny. I mean, it looks like he's asking if you have a cigarette. <laughs> like, hey man, you got a butt? No, it looks like you, you got know, a butt. Look, you got a butt like a bum. The baby looks like it knows we're talking about it. It's going like this. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> yeah, he goes, he, goes, he goes. I mean, six months for me. A lifetime of nightmare for these guys. He goes. If you you want the real stories, go to the twenty nine year old one. He goes, I'll be honest, my iron's probably a little low, but <laughs> beyond that, I think I'll be fine. I'm just learning what my hands do. <laughs> I wonder if any of the kids are actually kids of any of the daughters. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, That's why there's some inbreeding going on here. Because it is, some of these kids are like adorable, they look like just your everyday run in the And some of them look the people under the stairs. <laughs> 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 but what Dude, is the big deal with inbreeding, really? I mean, that's the time we have an honest conversation. Is it that right, big Joe. of a deal? Let's open it Hey, this up. is the bonfire, I mean, everybody. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> oh, they talked What's out the big to do? Is that, well, there is, like, proof of the genetic mixing causing all kinds of fun. I mean, yeah, look, chihuahuas. Look at that family. Chihuahua shake and fun. Yeah, no, that, that hammerhead family might, I'm sure they... they Dude, it's going to get real grisly. That... Yeah, it's, I'm saying you're going to find out. Thing, and laugh at these now. Let's all enjoy a good laugh at this right now. I'm enjoying a good laugh at this inbreeding photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Google, inbre Google inbreeding is a lot of fun. That's sort of what happens. But I mean, uh, and by the way, if you put a mo wig on those things, it looks like one of those brothers. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the one with glasses. Yeah. So, I mean, what's wrong with that? I think, I think it's been proven you can't, like, those genetics should not be Yeah. Happening. Yeah, when does it stop? All right, I gotta make a, I gotta make if we call. were such perfect, cre <laughs> if we were such perfect creatures, why would it even be possible? Shouldn't mm. there be a thing in us that says you you won't get pregnant if so we could just have sex with our beautiful beautiful sisters <laughs> and not have to worry about pulling out in time? I mean, I, I gotta thinking, learn rhythm method with my sister. I was Gr thinking cousin. I'm not an animal over here. But, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You, you like this, Dame? I didn't know you like to drink that close to the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking right out the fountain, dog. What's better? Do than you have a cousin that you that you? Would fuck if you could? No. No? No. Don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. Joe. <laughs> uh, I, don't no. think I, I don't think I, out of all my cousins, there's not one where I'm like, man, I wish we were cousins. I could fuck. But if they were hot, you would. If they were hot, well, that's a whole different situation. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Well, I'm it's talking, how I'm removed talk, you are. If I'm, you're I'm, seeing I'm them every Christmas, that. it's tough. Yeah, you're right. But if it's every few years. Every five years, you kind of go, what's up with her? Yeah. I have cousins that are super hot, but I, it's like they're my cousins. So I can be like, yeah, they're super hot and they're attractive oh, people, yeah, and but they're, 11, they're my Christine. cousins. I keep telling you not to bring it up publicly. <laughs> yeah, this they're 11. One. Oh, God, we get it. Hairless goes, oh, bodies. Their dicks are all nice. They're not salty yet from life. She goes, coming out of the pool, looking good. <laughs> you know, Christine, you thought about this a lot. Why, do you have cousins you would fuck? No, but I'm saying that uh, God, I know... <laughs> Oh, wait. No. Do I have cousins that oh, are fucking Asian hot cousins? Yeah, 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 yeah for Asian. sure. Super hot cousins. Oh, yeah, wow. absolutely. I got an aunt I wouldn't mind going down on, but that's where I draw the line. 
was really sweet. <laughs> she goes, Joe, I made you another sweater. Now get down there and go, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> get down there, Fanatic. Get down there, nom, 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 nom. She goes, oh, okay, look up, look up. Oh, you want to take your glasses off? Um, But yeah, no, for sure. I've Yeah, I have cousins for sure that are like super hop. I mean, I don't think like I wish they weren't my cousins so I could fuck them. Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying like they're definitely hot. I view them if somebody we're talking if somebody sibling, if we're somebody said hey I got fucking. some I got some filthy pictures or video of these girls I'd be like yeah I'd look at that for sure in a heartbeat of your cousin yeah both of them <laughs> that's, crazy. that's crazy no it's not yeah it is shut up you shut up I found a picture of my mom sucking off my step pop before I peeked at it oh, wow you I would have what? tossed it across the room. You would have went fire and yeah. never looked again. I would have gone like this. Fuck! Hey. I wouldn't have gone like fuck. Uh, all right, looks like she's got a hand motion in there. All right, now you're making a lot of assumptions on what I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's hot. Hey Joe, you make copies of these? <laughs> you go. Never mind. I'm gonna take a picture of my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take some of the photo mac. Get some copies. Yeah. You go, Can I print this out into a poster? I want to turn this into a comforter. <laughs> hey Jay, didn't you admit on this show that you hooked? up with your cousin or something like that it's not my cousin though no it's blood Mar- yeah it was married his step pa it's it like my sh- dad's step brothers yes the more alarming daughter. is you were a very young child and knew to put your mouth on a vagina oh that's an actual cousin <laughs> we're talking about two different things all right tell us all about it yeah i walked the line of uh because <laughs> i've walked the line of uh inbreed yeah i go jay that's why jay's our expert jay's our bond no partner. not at all uh, my the one cousin i say that i've actually like put my penis in for a, a moment or two um, is not a cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your all. step, it's your dad's And we knew that brother. always. It was yeah. always like, but it's just like somebody I knew since I was a kid. That's that means, t- but my cousin, actual, but again, it's like my grandfather's cousin's granddaughter. Okay. That's the best way I could put that. Is, uh, so yeah, I, we used to play games where I would try to like eat her box. Yeah, but oh, I mean, wow. but, that's, but that's little kid. Yeah, little, but that's not kid. in breeding. No, that's not at all. Eating. Also, what a generous. No, no, I always pull out, man. What a, what a gen- I got to see it on the face or I can't get off. Yeah, man, what a generous lover you were as a child. All giving. All giving. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I guess that's the old me. Christine told me today I haven't eaten her box in fucking three and a half years. <laughs> that's great. She goes, you know what would be really nice? If we could just fucking eat my puzzle. <laughs> For once. Do you want to take our last break and come back with this mouse video? Um. Okay. I mean, we've got fans. I'll tell you this. You're not a woman that keeps her children locked in a basement, so you're doing okay today. Yeah. Well, if she had children, she would. I mean, that picture. Can you show Joe List the Photoshop picture that they did of the couple <laughs> of you two? Yeah. I think I saw it for a moment because there was a point yeah. where it scrolled through and I was like, that looks like Jay. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. crazy. Well, it's Mark crazy. Is... It's crazy inbreeding yeah. Uh, Jay. Yeah, dude, this is Jay if he keeps his kids locked in the basement. It's so good. It's a different guy. <laughs> I mean, it looks That's so great. good. Marcus Silva nailed it. It looks so <laughs> Christine's. <laughs> yours looks hauntingly good. Uh, I mean, it looks the, with the tone and everything. Goes to Christmas future. Oh that boy! Is amazing. You and that woman have similar hair. <laughs> oh, I'm so annoyed by it. I'm like, please let my hair not fall out. It won't. No, it well, has. You, know, you don't. You don't, have, you don't have the stress of. A baker's does kids oh, yeah. chained up in a basement, probably Just, trying to talk. How's my Tuesday? I don't know. Keeping those kids downstairs. Yeah, you gotta start muzzling them at some point. Keep them at the um, door. Joe in Chicago says those kids were tied up for months. On end? Huh? Months on I'm end? Sure. Joe, you there? Yeah. What's up, guys? Crackle, crackle. Yeah, Long crackle, time crackle, fan. Crackle. Love you guys. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, I wanted to explain to Joe List that like it wasn't like they were locked in the basement for like a night. Like, it was, I mean, one of the kids 29, so, like, who knows how long this has been going on. But they, uh, they're, like, a Bible-beating family, apparently, too. Oh, that have always homeschooled their kids. Um, and that's why his, like, house is named, like, a school. Yeah, we saw so, that. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's, yeah, he, so, like, he, this was going on for months. It wasn't like they were just locked in for a night when they went to the movies. I think years. Oh, they'd be there for months at a clip. Yeah, thanks for the call, Joe. Yeah, they were definitely, it was, like, a long, long Do you time. make one of the older kids, like, like the warden? And they watch the other kids? You make them the house Negro. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm I mean, uncomfortable. I was, I was going to come, come, come up with a better, less racist name, like a, you know, like a, like a I baby. thought House Negro was the less racist name. That's considerably less racist than some of the options. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I read an article about Bill Maher one time. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was going to call him the baby monitor. <laughs> No, but I mean, yeah. Do you give one some privilege so they? I, I, I don't know how mind control because now with the stuff you're hearing, 
and this shit like the Disney World. Like now, I'm starting to think. I mean, obviously they're mentally fucked up. Yeah, but I'm wondering if it's sexual abuse or whatever. It's not just a, a lunatic religious guy going like this is how you keep them pure and whatever like just lo like crazy well, I just like you know what I'm saying what like, part of the Ca Bible remember the movie Carrie Carrie's yeah. mom was wildly abusive but she thought she would tell you she loved her daughter yeah no no they de these these parents definitely think they love their kids I think like there's a theory about that everybody in the world thinks they're doing good yeah like even like Nazis are like yeah we gotta clean up this yeah, country yeah. or whatever that's world. perspective a lot of people lack that's what? why it's great when people go, it's like, these other countries just fucking hate us. It's ridiculous. I'm like, well. We've done things to I it. mean, if you're, upset if, if you were like five to ten years old when your village got bombed, we came into <laughs> fucking Iraq and you're an Iraqi kid, like, I, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, like, well, I the, I, yeah, there was also. And they're always like, but the soldiers, the soldiers are always like, no, they love us out there, man. They treat us so good. He goes, they're terrified of you. you because have some of you go in there also and just like. You guys are listening to force a chick to fucking pull her tits. I mean, they, you're they also do. carrying AR-15s and blaring Metallica. They're not like, hi. It's such hey. a weird. The military is such an odd mix of like people who are like really want to like I want to fight and serve my country and do the right thing to a person who's like well, I'm trying not to go to jail and uh, you know I like making a woman take her tits out at gunpoint. So this works out. You know what I mean? Like, and then there's other guys that are like I'm just gonna get into religion and keep my kids chained up. Yeah. I mean that's like. That's fucking crap. The point so, is, so they're saying, all I, heroes. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short, they are all heroes. Don't, yeah. That I, is. Uh, I stand for my anthem. <laughs> I stand for my religion. I, I just. I, I say that the religion thing might cut out the inbreeding, or it's the reason for it, because they believe they're starting their own. I just think you're right when you say whatever. when the details start coming out, shit's gonna get gross, like quick. It's gonna get bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gonna.